Today we are releasing our first results from our updated moderate overlap test, which now includes a passenger seated in the rear of the vehicle. This is the first U.S. frontal crash test to make use of a rear occupant dummy. We tested 15 small SUVs in this first round of testing. For years, we have focused on the driver and the front seat passenger when it comes to preventing injury and likelihood of being killed in a crash. Front seat occupants are now benefiting from technologies such as airbags and advanced seatbelt systems. The same level of technology often does not exist in the rear seat to protect those occupants. So we want to focus on that rear seat where you carry often the most vulnerable occupants such as children and elderly adults. When it comes to evaluating new vehicles in this test, we are looking at how well the occupant compartment holds up structurally. We are also looking at the likelihood of injury to both dummies that we include in the test. And finally, we are looking at that rear passenger dummy specifically to see if there's a likelihood that the restraint system did not protect them when it comes to moving forward and possibly striking hard surfaces such as the front seat back. Keep it coming down.
The best performers in this round of testing were the Volvo XC40 and the Ford Escape. These were the only two vehicles to receive an overall rating of good. In each vehicle, there was a low risk of injury to the dummies, and the restraint system in the rear seat did a good job of keeping the dummy away from hard surfaces. Nine out of the 15 vehicles in this round of testing received a poor rating. In all cases, there was an elevated injury risk to the rear dummy. In some vehicles, we saw excessive force on the chest of the dummy. In other vehicles, the dummy's head either struck or came close to striking hard surfaces in the vehicle. In the Mazda CX-5 and the Honda HRV, the lap belt on the rear passenger dummy slipped upward from the pelvis into the abdomen. This is known as submarining and can increase the chances of abdominal injuries. As these results show, rear seat safety is lagging. It's time for us to focus on making the vehicle safe for all occupants.